Welcome back to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee and it's cocktail time. It's the best time of the day. Okay, now I have some peach vodka, frozen peaches. These are gonna be the ice cubes in my glass instead of ice cubes. I also have a can of peaches in their juice, which I'm gonna strain because I only need a little bit of this juice. And I have some vanilla yogurt, which is gonna make this creamy and decadent and rich and delicious. Now, a lassi cocktail comes from India. It's kind of like a spiked East Indian smoothie. So in here, I have a little bit of vodka, about one part vodka. Then I'm gonna put in here one part vanilla yogurt, about a cup. Then I'm gonna put in here some frozen peaches. And I'm gonna save just a couple of these for my glass, just to make sure it stays nice and cold. The rest go in here. Then the can of peaches, this is very peachy. And just about a half a cup of the juice from the can. So it's about a cup of canned peaches, about a half a cup of the juice from the can and then a cup of frozen peaches and a cup of yogurt with that cup of peach vodka. It is some beautiful cocktail. Look at how lush and delicious this is. Oh yes, beautiful. Now you could garnish this with mint, but I have my peaches. You could also put cranberries or strawberries on the top of this. Now for the taste test. Mm. That hits the spot. Now wait till you see my beautiful tablescape come with me. When I was thinking about what would an exotic tablescape look like, I wanted something elegant and sophisticated, so I went grand. In the center is just a beautiful bouquet of silk flowers in gorgeous colors, but look what I put them in. A great footed jewel tone bowl. The fabric I chose, by the way, at the fabric store, look at how elegant this is. It's got exotic flowers on it, paprika colors, mustard colors, all that. In fact, these colors go great with my favor. Then three grand pillar candles that are very chunky and very tall. Look at the gold details in these bands and all that wonderful little artwork in there. Now these normally hold just a pillar candle, but I put a votive candle in there and how smart is that? I love it. Each place setting super simple, but all of the attention on this table is going to be with the favor, which also has the place card attached and it's wrapped in the napkin. So first, the place card, super simple. I bought matching place cards at the craft store in the stationery department. I just wrote each guest's name on here and it goes right underneath my napkin. And inside is a great book. Look at this book. This is just fabric that I cut that went with my theme. And on the top here is the menu and underneath is the recipes. And here's how I put it together, super simple. At the store, I picked up just the stationary stock, the fabric that matched. You could also use paper, whatever you like. And then I took a hole punch and I lined this up. Then the dinner menu, now here's the smart thing about using the stationery. These are just little painted brads and you take them, they're kind of like a thumbtack with little legs on them. Push it through the hole that I made with a hole punch, color matches perfectly, turn it around and then just separate the little feet there. And that's all you do, super simple to do. Now I have one trick for you when you're printing off your computer and you're using expensive stationary invitation stock, what you wanna do is first line everything up and put regular paper in there and make sure that it lines up perfectly, then use your stationary. That way it's perfect every time and you don't waste any of that expensive paper. By the way, all the recipes I made today are available on Food Network's website, so log on and download them. They're absolutely free and you can have any of these great exotic dishes on your table in no time. And until next time, I want you to remember to keep it simple, keep it sweet, keep it smart, and always keep it semi-homemade. I'm Sandra Lee. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Cheers.